In this video, we're going to have a little look at how we might tackle a question like this. So we've got two ships leaving port. Ship A is travelling on a bearing of 50 degrees for six kilometres and ship B is heading out from port, the same port, on a bearing of 310 degrees for seven and a half kilometres. So we're being asked to make a scale drawing and from that work out um, the distance apart that the ships are. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, if you see the bearings are from port, so we need to decide where port is on our on our um, diagram. So I'm going to put it there, leave plenty of space um, for the measuring. So from there we need to measure our, we need to put our north point, uh, north direction, because that's the point that these ships, that we're going to measure the bearings from. So ship A is on a bearing of 50 degrees. Now remember, bearings are always measured clockwise from the north line. So we need to measure an angle of 50 degrees from here in this direction. So we'll get our protractor, line it up. The center of the protractor goes at the port, the place where the bearings are being measured from. Center of the protractor there, obviously lined up with your north line. Make sure you're using the correct scale. We want to start at zero, so we're going to go zero or around to 50. Now that gives us the direction that ship A is traveling in. I'm gonna mark that quite lightly for now, because that's the direction. The next thing we need to think about is how far it travels in this question. Now, it tells us it's six kilometers. We've been asked to use a scale of one centimeter to one kilometer. So we are going to measure six centimetres along that line. So starting at the port, we're going to measure six centimetres along that line. OK, and that point there is where ship A ends up. OK, because that is, that's an angle of 50 or 0, 050 degrees, a bearing of 50, and that is six centimetres or six kilometres in real life. Okay, so that's where ship A ends up. So for ship B, same sort of thing. This is a bearing of 310 degrees. That's that situation again. You can't, you can't measure an angle of 310 degrees with a protractor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this line down a wee bit so that we can see where it is. So we've, we've drawn a little extension to the line there. We know that from the north right round to this line here is 180 degrees. So we just do a little calculation. We'll do, well, we've got 180. We need to make that up to 110, uh, 310, I beg your pardon. So that means we need, we need to measure 130 degrees more. So 180 to there. And then if we carry on for another 130, we'll get to that 310 that we're looking for. So we'll line the protractor up there centre of the protractor right on that port point where we are measure our bearings from. We're going to make sure that we're using the right scale. So there's 130 there, but that's not the right one, is it? Because that would be us measuring from 180 down to 130. That's not the right one. We need to start at zero. So we're going to go 130 from that zero, which will take us up to there. Okay. So if we join that together very faintly for now, that is the direction that ship B is going in. That is a bearing, we'll mark it on, of 310 degrees from port. So we measure it from this north line for 310 degrees. And then the distance for that one is seven and a half kilometers. So we're gonna measure seven and a half centimeters, because that's the scale we're using, from port along that line, which will take us up to there. So that is the point that ship B gets to. Okay, so let's mark that. We'll just mark that on. It's always good practice to write on what you're doing. So you've worked out where ship A is after it's done its uh, journey. You've worked out where ship B is after it's done its journey. The question is state how far apart the ships are. So all you need to do is measure now the distance between ship A and ship B. Now I get, so we've got 
three centimeters okay from there to there 10.3 centimeters and because we're using a, a, a nice simple scale we can see the ships are 10.3 kilometers apart okay because if you've drawn these two accurately then this one should give you an accurate distance between your two ships so it's important to draw it as accurately as you can there'll be a little bit of leeway in the answer you know if you get 10 10 and a half that's um that's understandable but the more accurately you do your drawing the closer you will be to the expected answer okay so that is how to answer a question like that